Hey guys, it's Skin Freak, and after I uploaded my last CSGO best cheap trade up contracts, a ton of you guys have been asking me, you know, questions on trading up and if you change the weapons, if you can still get the weapon, and how you can increase your chances or, you know, make more profit. And with all the questions, there's so many I can't get to all of them. I figured I would just make a video explaining exactly how trade up contracts works, as well as the float values to determine what kind of float you're gonna actually get in the end of a trade up. So I'm going to go ahead and go over the general way of how a trade up contract works. So let's use the Chroma 2 case for an example here. And let's say we want to try to get the M4A1S Hyper Beast factory new. Okay, that's what we're going to try to trade up to get. That's what we want to get. Now, what we're going to have to do is get basically 10 rifles of the lower class. So as you guys can see, the M4A1S Hyper Beast is a red, it's a covert rifle, and we're going to need 10 of the pinks, which are the classified rifles, to actually trade up to get that um, red skin. So we're going to need either 10 FAMAS, 10 Galil Ecos, or 10 of the monkey business. So let's just go ahead and use the FAMAS Jin as an example, since it is the cheapest, it's about $5 factory new. Now, to make you better understand this, let's say we go ahead and buy 10 of these Fromage Gins. So, we spent about $50. Now, um, factory new M4A1S Hyper Beast is about $60. So, therefore, if we get the Hyper Beast, we'll be making a $10 profit. Now, how do you know what kind of percentage... Now, how do you know what percentage you have of actually getting that Hyper Beast? Well, since we have 10 classified rifles, which is the pink color from the Chroma 2 case, that means when we trade up, we'll only be able to get the M4A1S Hyper Beast or the MAC-10 Neon Rider because the weapons basically stay in their own case. So if we're getting 10 from the Chroma 2 case, we're going to get something from the Chroma 2 case that is of the higher classification. So therefore, we have a 50% chance of getting the Hyper Beast and a 50% chance of getting the Neon Rider. Now, obviously, you want to get the Hyper Beast and you'll make $10, where if you get the Neon Rider, you'll basically lose $45. Now, let's say you want to try to be a little bit more risky and make more profit. What you can go ahead and do is buy five of the FAMAS gins, which is going to be about $25, and then go ahead and buy five of any other pink skin, okay, from any other crate, just the cheapest you can find. I'm not going to actually search for that real quick, but all you need to do is go on the market and look basically up the cheapest classified rifle. Now, from there, you can go ahead and buy five more of those cheapest pink skins and then put them in our trade-up contract. So here we're going to have five of the FAMAS gins factory new and then five of some other random pink uh, skin factory new. Now what this is going to do is basically we're now going to have a 25% chance of getting the Hyper Beast and a 25% chance of getting the Neon Rider and then you can add in whatever percentage you have from the other crate. So doing this, if you get the Hyper Beast, you're obviously going to make a ton more money than just the $10. Now, one more quick example for you guys is if you're trading up for the Op Dragon Lord. This is one of the easiest ways to explain it. So, so the only thing that can actually get you guys an Op Dragon Lord is an M4A1S Knight. So, with that being said, let's say somehow you have 10 M4A1S Knights and you trade them up, you're going to get an Op Dragon Lord for sure. There's no other skin you can get. Now, obviously, you don't want to do that because you're not going to make money with that trade up, but that's how you can do that. So. Let's say you actually want to make money doing this trade up. What you can do is get one of the M4A1S Knights and then have nine other skins of that same classification like we established earlier. So what this is going to do is now lower our percentage from 100% chance we had before to get that op Dragon Lore. Now we're only going to have a 10% chance to get that op Dragon Lore. So hopefully you guys now understand how the trade up contract itself works. So now we can move on to the actual float values themselves. So obviously you guys know that there's different wares on a weapon. We have battle scarred, well worn, field tested, minimal wear, and factory new. Those are the five wares that you can actually get on a skin. Now if you've been playing CSGO for a while, you probably know that there's different classifications basically deeper than just that. So let's break this up on a scale from zero to one, okay? So zero is a factory new, a true factory new, you know, no wear on it whatsoever, perfect clean skin. That float value is a 0.00, that's factory new. Now let's say you get the worst skin you can get, the worst battle scar skin, that's gonna be a 1.00. Now in between that, we obviously have to break it up 
for the different wares. Now, not every gun is exactly the same. If you want to see the um, actual chart for each gun you are actually trying to trade up for, you guys can use csgostash.com. That's a real good website. You know, I'm not getting paid to say that, but I think that's one of the only few websites that show you this. But anyway, like I said, we're using the M4A1S Hyper Beast for an example here. So this is the one for the Hyper Beast. As you guys can see, factory new is from 0 to 0 0.07 and then minimal wear is from 0 0.07 to 0 0.15 and so on and so forth. That's going to determine basically a little bit more of a classification of where your weapon skin is going to be placed on that scale. So with that being said, there is also a minimum and maximum float value. What this means is basically the minimum float value is the lowest float that gun can be. So on the M4A1S, the, it is basically zero. The minimum is zero. So there is, um, so it is possible to get a 0, 0.00 float, but some guns are different. For example, let's say this minimum is a 0 0.04. That means that the best skin, the nicest looking skin that exists is a 0 0.04. There's no way to get lower than that. There's no way to get that true factory new 0, 0.00. And same for the maximum. Let's say the maximum is a 0 0.40. That basically means that there is no battle scarred um, versions of that skin that exist. There's nowhere. There's never going to be a battle scar. There's only going to be well worn. That's going to be the worst condition. So since we're using the Hyper Beast for the example, we can go ahead and set those back to a 0.00 minimum and a 1.00 maximum. So now that you guys understand kind of how the float values work, let's get into the formula that's going to help you guys find out what kind of float you're going to get on your end result after a trade up contract. So you know if you're going to get a really good factory new or a really bad factory new or even a minimal wear. So to do this, it's actually really simple. All you guys want to do is add up all the floats that you're going to be trading up. So like I said, we're going to be trading up the FAMAS gins. Let's say we have 10 of them and let's say all of the floats are just a 0.03. Okay, we're just going to make it really easy here. So we have a 0.03 factory new float. We're going to go ahead and add all those together. Now, once we add them all together, we're going to divide them by 10. And that's basically going to give us the average of all of those floats. So of course our average is going to be a 0.03. Now once we have that average, we're going to go ahead and go to another formula here. What we're going to want to go ahead and do is get the maximum float value for the skin that we actually want to trade up to get. So in this case, it's the Hyper Beast. So we have that 1.00. So what we're going to go ahead and do is subtract the minimum float value. So that's a 0.00. So we have the 1 minus 0. Now, once you have that, we're going to go ahead and multiply that by the average that we found earlier. So that's going to be a 0.03. Then the last thing you want to go ahead and do is add the minimum once again, which is a 0 0.00. So if we go ahead and work that out, we're going to be getting a 0 0.03 M4A1S factory new. And that's basically how you're going to determine what the float value is. Now, I just kind of used a 0 0.03 to make it easy for you guys to see how it actually works. But of course, you guys can put your float values together to see what you're going to get. Now, how are you going to find out what the float value is of a skin on the Steam market? Now, if you're on OP skins, it shows you right there what the float value is. But let's say you want to buy your skins off the Steam market and you want to know what the float is. So anyway, right here, we're on the Steam market. As you guys can see, the Fromage Gin Factory New. We're going to click this little drop down arrow and where it says inspect in game, you're going to right click and you want to click copy link address. Now, after you've done that, you guys want to go to csgozone.net. Then you want to go ahead and sign in with Steam. And then you guys want to click on the tab that says check. Now, once you guys get here, it's going to have three options. We're going to have inventory, Steam Market, and Steam Market Lister. We're simply going to want to click Steam Market. And then right here, we can paste our link by using right click paste or control V and then click load item. Now, as you guys can see, the wear on this item is a 0.02, and it shows you a couple other things about the skin that we don't really care about for this. But anyway, as you guys can see, that's how we're going to get the float value for that actual skin. Now, back to some formulas. Let's say you know what float value you want to get. So let's say you want to get the um, best minimal wear skin. So in that case, you're going to be trying to get, you know, like a 0.071, something like that, you know, in between the beginning of the minimal wear. So it almost looks like factory new, but it's minimal wear. That's a good way to kind of save money. So let's say we're doing that. What you're going to want to go ahead and do 
is get the lowest float for what we're trying to get. So in this case, minimal wear, the lowest is a 0.07. So we're gonna get 0.07. We're gonna subtract that from the minimum of the hyper beast, okay? So the hyper beast, the minimum is a zero again. So we're gonna go minus zero. Then we're gonna be dividing this by the maximum of the hyper beast minus the minimum of the hyper beast. So it's gonna be a one minus zero. So once we solve that out, we're going to get a 0.07 minimal wear. So what that basically means is if you want to get the minimal wear in that 0.071 category, you're going to want to make sure that your average that we found out earlier when we're actually using it, you want your average to actually equal 0.071. So you're going to have to, you know, kind of go through the steam market and get some floats, add them together, divide by 10, and you want that number to equal this number. So in this case, the 0 0.071. Anyway, guys, that's basically how the CSGO trade-up contracts work. Um, if you're watching this for your first time, you probably won't understand everything. I recommend watching it a few times. I didn't understand it at first, but once you understand it, it is very helpful. It's going to help you guys save money and determine what you're actually going to get when you trade up. Anyway, guys, I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like down below and also make sure to subscribe so you never miss a future video. This has been Skin Freak and don't forget, stay freaky. Did you enjoy Skin Freak's sexy video? Then what are you waiting for? Smash that like button right now. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then you're missing out. Click that subscribe button below and become a freak today. Also, make sure to check out yesterday's video if you haven't already. And here's a random video you might have missed. Hope you enjoyed.